the bigger the software gets the harder it is to keep the overview when a software become bigger in features then it becomes harder to keep the overall overview of the entire software and therefore it becomes very important to separate the implementation for user interface business logic and data access data access also means data source when the implementation for the user interface business logic and data source are separated so that we and our software development team can easily understand the software similarly it also become easy to extend our current software with more new features easily and quickly and then also we can test our software easily it can be tested easily and that's where architectural design pattern come into play and when it comes to the mobile apps then mvvm architecture is the famous among architectural design pattern mvvm stands for model view view model the model represents the data source which is often represented by repository that just collect small data in one single place it can be data from a database or it can be a data from a remote api or just data from both it can be from both like from remote api or as well as from a database the view model contains the business logic business logic is just the real programming logic for example validating the user input logic for validating the user input or let's say programming logic for filtering a list the view model is in direct communication with the model to get the data it needs for example with the help of our programming log logic we request data so it means that from the model we need data so it will return data okay we request data and it return us the required data and then at the last we have the view view is basically the visible part which simply means the user interface as you see that when the user use the app we see buttons we see forms where the user type that is text field where the user write some text the user press button that is the view okay the user interface the ui for example at the view on the user interface the user is on the update form the user uh, fill the update form and click on the submit button so with the help of our view model which contains the update logic it requests data with the help of model and as a response from the model the requested data is sent back with the help of view model as a response on the user interface the user see the result that is data is updated successfully so you can say that it get events from the view model that is results and remember the view does not contain the business logic the business logic here we have in the view model view is only the ui the user interface the visible part of the app on which let's say as i told you guys the user fill up the update form and press the submit button that is the ui the visible part this view model is the logical part that is business logic and model you already know model is the is the repository or you can say the data source